Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Carlson Power Tools in under 10 minutes. My name's Gary Rosen, and uh, it's good to see everyone. It's been a few months uh, since I've done a Power Tools, so I hope uh, you're all doing well and having a good winter. If you're in winter part of the world, uh, we are here in New Hampshire, and uh, we've got got quite the buildup of snow at this point, but uh, doing doing good. We enjoy it. So I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I wanted to get back to you with a Power Tools video, and and this episode is is about DotSoft. Uh, I'm sure many of you know about DotSoft, and and if you do, you probably uh, knew Terry Dotson. Um, many of you do not know about DotSoft, so I wanted to kind of just uh, let everyone know uh, what's going on. Uh, Terry worked for Carlson Software, uh, late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, and he left right before I started. I started 2005 and and I heard uh, about Terry and that he had just gone off to start his own company uh, doing software development. Um, by by all reports, he, he's just a wonderful guy um, and, uh, and, and a brilliant programmer. Um, sadly, Terry passed away in December, but it was uh, his wish to have Carlson Software uh, pick up where he uh, un unfortunately had to leave off. So he and Bruce always had a good relationship, and and that was kind of his wish. And and Bruce felt that it was a it was a good thing to do, and uh, and acquired Dotsoft. And uh, Bruce asked uh, Lad Nelson and myself to to kind of shepherd it under the Carlson umbrella, and. Uh, um, and, and be, kind of be be co product managers uh, to kind of bring you know move this thing, uh, keep it going. Um, we've been working on that uh, with tremendous amount of help from Leonid Entov and and many others, Adam and order processing, accounting. It's been quite an undertaking, but it's going well. We've been able to respond to all the emails coming in for new orders and renewals and upgrades and demo requests and everything it's been a lot but we've been it's been going well so we're going to carry that forward um over the next few months we'll see how everything develops with the new versions of autocad and telecad and we're going to be working on it but but to start with um i thought what i should do is introduce you to the product line i've been trying to learn my way around it and and one of the things that's gotten kind of the most uh questions and, and a lot of the correspondence has been about something called XL2CAD, capital X, capital L, number two, XL2CAD. And uh, what this program does is allows you to work in a spreadsheet and bring it into your drawing and then have them uh, connected and, and, and conversing with each other and staying current that way. It's, it's, it's a wonderful tool. And again, we've gotten all kinds of feedback already, uh, people that wanted to buy it or have bought it and upgrading and so on. So I thought I would start there. I thought it'd be a good place to start. And then I thought, well, how can I tie that into Carlson software? Uh, instead of just making up a spreadsheet, I started making up a spreadsheet. And I, well, wait a minute, you know, what if we generate a spreadsheet from Carlson uh, Lot Network? That'd be cool. So I did a few trials and uh, it worked. So what we're gonna, what I'm gonna show you today is uh, is how to do that, how to generate this spreadsheet out of your lot network, and then how to basically use uh, DotSoft, Excel to CAD, to, to bring it into the drawing and, and connect the two, okay? So what we're looking at here is a, um, a subdivision from the uh, Catapult software uh, practical Guide to Carlson Survey, authored, written uh, primarily by our very own Doug Alberg. And in this exercise, uh, we have this uh, subdivision. So what we're going to do is come right in here to the lot network, and we're going to say uh, utilities, export a lot file, and we're going to create an LOT file, which will store all of the data about that lot, okay? So we're going to write one out. We'll call it Sherlock Holmes. Um, and then it's going to ask us to generate a coordinate file because every corner of each lot will be written out as a coordinate. So we'll make a new coordinate file um, 
to store that data rather than add those points to our existing coordinate file. So we'll take the defaults to, uh, to write out the CRD and, um, and proceed through here, you know, starting with point number one and so on. Pretty straightforward. The next thing we do is we, we're going to set that lot file. We're going to come back and set that lot file as current. So we just go find it and set it as current. Uh, so that the software knows that's the one we're working with. And then we just come back to the lot file manager. And this is really an incredible part of the lot network is we have this record of this entire subdivision, this whole lot network. We can highlight a lot. It shows us which lot it is. We can generate a report of all of the bearings and distances of each lot. Um, tremendous amount of capability but what we're going to do for this exercise is select the entire thing. We're going to just, uh, we're just going to write out the lot area, uh, keep it simple, and we're going to uh, generate a report. And it, this basically is where you can choose which fields, which information you want in the report. So I just chose the lot, lot number, the block, the square footage, and the acreage uh, to keep it simple. There's lots of other data that you could add to this as well, if it was relevant to, to your project. We're going to go with that, but instead of a report, we're going to switch to uh, Excel. So we export Excel, and it basically just writes out an Excel file and starts it up. And here you are in Excel. So you in you know you can you can format it however you like. Um, you can. Uh, you know, I'm going to center everything to make it look good, uh, whatever changes you want to make to it. And then uh, I'm going to just save it. So, so it's a, you know, a named document. And uh, we'll, we'll put it in this .soft, uh, test .soft project that I've been working on, trying to learn my way through the hundreds of tools here. Um, but I um, kind of started here because we've gotten so much feedback on it. So I thought, well, let's look at that first. So I'm going to go to that folder. I'm going to save out this spreadsheet, call it Sherlock Holmes. And then we're just going to highlight the area that we want in the drawing. And then we simply switch back to the drawing. We'll close out of the manager there. We go to the dots off Excel to CAD menu and we simply say, uh, you know, new, start a new one. And it immediately sees the open spreadsheet. It sees the area that's highlighted and it tells you which cells are you've, you've selected. And you basically say, yeah, that looks good. I'm going to pick on the screen for where I'd like to, to put it and um, generate this data in my drawing. Uh, and it's really that simple. Very powerful tool. And uh, it's, just, it, it's written as a block. That's how Terry designed it. Um, and of course, the power of the whole thing, that, that's pretty cool. But the power, I think, of the whole thing is you come back to the spreadsheet, um, wrong one, come back to the spreadsheet, and let's say we add uh, some more info. We add uh, owner. So we say uh, lot one is owned by uh, Mrs. Smith, and uh, lot two is owned by Mr. Jones, and we'll say lot three is owned by uh, Sherlock himself. Don't tell anybody, but uh, he lives there. So we, we save our spreadsheet. And we just come back to the drawing and we simply tell Excel to update um, this uh, information and, and press enter and, and there it is. So whatever info, you can put value, you can uh, put whatever info uh, you want to add to this report, essentially. Uh, you can total because, you know, obviously it's, it's Excel. Um, so it's really just a great way to, uh, to link a spreadsheet to your drawing and, and have that very simple interoperability um, done very easily. So I think it's a great tool. I thought it'd be a great one to start uh, introducing you to. I will uh, be continuing my journey through Dotsoft's um, extensive library. And as I find things, I will try and show you one, you know, one or two a month. I'll try and show you, you know, some of the, my favorites that, are, that I uh, come upon. And uh, if you're interested, uh, if, if you've used uh, Excel to CAD, uh, I'm just learning it, uh, just, just scratching the surface. If you've used it extensively and know all the tips and tricks, please let me know. Uh, grosen at carlsonsw.com. Um, if you've not used it and you want to give it a try, um, 
I believe we have a demo. We have demos of most of the things. I believe XL2CAD has a demo. Um, and, and if you're interested and you think it would be helpful, let us know. Um, it is a separate program. XL2CAD is $145. Um, but uh, I, I just thought it would be a good idea to start showing you um, this kind of new, exciting expansion of the, uh, uh, the Carlson umbrella, which continues to grow with all kinds of things. And, and this one just happened uh, due to a, to a sad event, but, but we're trying to uh, make the best of it and do justice to, to, justice to uh, Terry's vision. Um, he built a great, a great product with a great user base, and everyone that writes us is just uh, saddened by the news and just says how great he was to work with. So we're trying to do it justice and bring it forward. And um, I'll keep you posted as it as it moves forward, and and hopefully maybe there'll be something there uh, of interest to you. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, take care. I'll be back soon uh, and uh, catch you on the flip side.